Money, 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 money. We have money all the time. I'm so much wondering what's at the end of this money grinding hall. I mean, it's obvious what these guys drop to their money ratio. We're gonna be leaving here in big bucks, guys. This is in general grinding heaven. Here, try to get a healer out. We all could use a good heal. Not this time, I'm afraid. But, yes, this money. I'm pretty sure this is going to get tough soon, once we run out of magic. Roughly 100 HP each, I guess. Didn't expect much more. You know, I wonder if that item shop sells ethers. If it does, then we have totally broken this game. Another news, we can buy that knight's armor. Maybe. Anyway, here's our level up mayhem. Bulbor gained a level, he got 29 HP, strength, and luck. Drad gained a level, 25 HP, thank god it wasn't bad. He also got some strength, agility, stamina, and luck. A very nice level. Serena gained a level, 24 HP, 6 MP. Kind of the reverse for last level, but she passes 300 now. But she also gets intelligence too, by the way. Nina gains a level, 3 HP, but 18 more MP. Again, reoccurring theme, Nina has too much MP and no HP. Yeah, that was a full Blizzra we got there. Oh, it's over. Oh. Okay, so... I just happened to discover Grinding Highway. I want to go heal in our tent. Now that we have glorious amounts of money. Wow. All healed up and ready to go. Restores pretty much half of the mana. I'm not going to go that w down that way. We're going to go find our progression. Death to the Anaconda. Ogres also live in this cave. Yay, say hi to the ogres, guys. Okay, we're gonna turn this into a two round fight and conserve our magic for now. Good, he hit the person who can take damage. Who I'm willing to let take damage, I should say. All my people can take damage. Just some more than others. I'm betting it's this hallway. Leads to the hallway, to the room which has it. I hate getting ambushed, by the way. Gives me no time to react.
Oh, there's something in here. Oh, goody. More chests. Okay, so there's an Earth Elemental guarding each chest. We're just gonna attack with you, man. Down he goes, we get 384 experience. Blah blah. However, it's just a bunch of anacondas. Which I hate so much right now, I'm just gonna nuke him with a spell. Lyra sounds good. Much worse of a loot. Though entertaining, nevertheless. Up, up, and away. I guess that's the hallway with the key. Not literally a key, of course. Well, they only have like 200 HP, don't they? Okay guys, Earth Elemental time. Anaconda time. I guess the other one is guarded by Earth Elemental. Whatever. Well, it's not guarded, but it has crappy loot. Hey, mummies. Another new one. Let's not waste resources on these, obviously, dapper gentlemen. They're spellcasters. Good to know. Okay, this usually is the time we call for a spell. Because that's quite a few ogre chiefs. I guess negotiating peace between the ogre tribes and then we're going to screw it up because... The hero always screws up at the worst possible time. Oh well, they have no HP. So they're kind of a breather. And worth a lot of money. Yay, we are almost at the point where we can afford absurdly expensive armor. But we're not desperate enough to get it that we're gonna fight snakes. Just want to heal up my MP since I know where it is now. We'll just slowly go in and out. I mean, I can't really do it outside of this one time, but... Floor. But... Oh no, it's an ambush. Please attack Bulbor, which can... They got their attacks it gradually more. Nope, nothing to worry about. And then they died. Well, except for that guy in the front. He was left alone and watched as his brethren died in front of him until, out of distress, he just died. Yeah, here we go, stairwell. Hey, it's bats again. Let's follow the follow the bats rule. I'm betting you that's the rule this time. I'm not trusting you, bats. Hey, guys. Say hi to Gargoyle Goyle Swarm. Isn't it fun?
NCs are barely worth anything. I'm buying this door. Just has a bunch of sweet loot. What is the Coral Sword? Effective against aquatic foes. Well, it's a bit better right now. Another tent. And 330 gil. Okay, so following my method, we found money. I guess this is the area of absurdly large numbers of enemies you used to know. And then we ran away. No, guys, seriously, run away. They can only inflict in poison. And we can cure that, like... As long as you don't die. Okay, there we go. I don't know, we'll just attack and kill these guys, I guess. Free money. I remember when these guys terrified me. Oh, how misinformed I was. And I, there's the Coral Sword in action. Where's speed will make it even more effective. And here's the downstairs. No, do not want. Actually, do want for its money. Bedding. Oh, okay, so here's our old friend Whites, along with our not as old friends, Gasps. We're gonna have to just fire it up. Thank you for keeping that an option. Fire up the forge. And we're down to two people. And one can't fight. Fortunately, we can do that. And they drop a lot of money. So we're past our goal now for Super Bowl Bar Armor. There we go. Cura plus a little cure. Or two. And he's a good one as now. Sleeping bag. Too bad you can't use them in monster infested ruins. I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna use that this either. Ether, sorry. Hey, it's Pisco Demons! Say hi to our friends, guys. And if you recall, Pisco Demons are worth a lot of money. So let's put on a good show for them. That Coral Sword is quite useful. And I know we're going to use it sometime. There is, a there is always a water level. And it is always the longest and most difficultly annoying puzzle. 